So, hi Abhi, this is Anandita from India today. Uh, hi Anandita. Today we are going to talk about your uh, film. Hello, we are going to talk about your film Fata Fati, which already released in theaters and is now releasing on Sony Live. So, getting to the few questions that I have for you. So, Abhi, for those who haven't watched Fata Fati, how would you take them through your character? Uh, let me first thank my audience because uh, today is the seventy fifth day. And in today's time, seventy-five days running on, uh, you know, cinemas, it's quite a thing. And uh, from I, I remember from day two, we got the news of houseful shows, and now we are very happy that Sony Live will be premiering Pata Pati from fourth of August, because we understand I and I I know it very well that uh, a certain section of audience and that's a huge number they stay out of their home, like maybe out of Bengal, maybe out of India also. and they were waiting they were asking me as uh, they got uh, got to know from their friends from their relatives uh, who have seen the film on big screen um, that fata fati is doing well and it's it's a uh, it's an emotional film though it talks about a very pertinent uh, subject a very very important subject that body positivity and body shaming but um, yes uh, it it talks about a very important uh, topic but it's a very emotional and uh what i would rather say a family oriented film so they were asking us that when do we watch the film because we don't stay near our home uh thanks to sony leave that they will will be now reaching out to that audience and people who haven't seen the film i just um there are like very few things to uh, tell them uh, fata fati primarily a film which talks about body positivity breaking stereotypes and how you know uh, talking about uh, people's uh, body shape how uh, that uh, affects people how that um, uh, you know those negative things or the negative comments that shatters people's confidence but as a whole fata fati is a family oriented love story also because uh, it's not a preachy film it talks about a family it talks about pullora uh, the main protagonist and her family and how they go through this journey so it's not a very you know um, a film where we see people people you know taking out placards and say this is what we need to understand this is what we need to say it's nothing about that it's 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 a simple story about um a uh, husband wife maybe maybe a, a a family and how they overcome all the struggle and the difficulty so you can watch this film with your family and uh, fall in love with your family one more time so fata fati like we we just discussed sends a very strong message on uh, body shaming uh stereotypes body positivity and we still live in a world where body shape you know being fat is still considered unhealthy what is your take on it see this is one thing we need to uh, mention very carefully we have never ever uh, promoted obesity through our film if your health if your weight is uh, creating some health hazards you need to discuss this with your uh, fitness expert or with your doctor uh, that is um, without doubt you need to do that uh not only uh, overweight is a problem we understand uh, we also know that uh, being underweight is also a problem so if it is a health hazard if it is creating some problem in your daily life or um, your like the indicators the health indicators are not at the right place you need to go to the doctor uh, asap that is that is given that is done but what we needed to tell is that you you have no right to judge other people like you need to understand that every one of us we have we have our own share of struggles uh, and i have seen this happening um, in my uh, life also in and around every one of us we have been through all this so it's our story also uh, and now um, being an actor uh, this is part of our job we need to train ourselves that um, uh, how to face the trolling and all but that's not the case for a commoner especially for youngsters when they are starting their life where they are starting to dream big if you are constantly poking and you are constantly you know uh, put forward negative comments based on their body shape or maybe their weight uh, the confidence shatters and they stop loving uh, they stop loving themselves they start hating themselves and that's i think one of the biggest crimes one can ever do so that is that is one simple message we tried to portray uh, through our film that if um, you you are confident and if you are fit enough to carry on with your profession or if you don't have any profession in in, in your personal life in your household life if you are 
confident enough to carry your life then please don't listen to others and for others so called others we request them um, in bangla we tell na nije chorkay tel din so please do that don't judge don't you know um, do, why are you poking your nose in some other people's business and it's uh, see by doing this film i never expected Uh, that people will stop talking about obesity people will stop body shaming overnight that that will never happen but at least this film talked about this about this subject at least that has happened so yes this is a, these are the small steps we can take but we are being an uh, like none of the members of uh, phatapati film we never expected that after the release of the film even the film is uh, such a successful film uh, throughout the big screen and all people will stop auditioning overnight that will never happen but at least people are now talking about this and there uh, and i have interacted with audience i have interacted and i have seen messages in my social media pages and all that people are saying after watching this film now i am feeling more confident now will now i i have the strength now i have the power to face the world that is the biggest take away from the film for us Correct. So, having said that, Abhi, why don't we get to see a lot more plus size actresses in Bengali mm. in the in general films? Why Why do you think so? Ah, uh, I think that, you know, ah, uh, it takes time to change. Number one and number two for us for ah uh, actors, this ah uh, benchmark is different because we are playing a character. Suppose I am playing a suppose ah uh, I work out daily. That's part of my ah uh, lifestyle, and I I actually enjoy working out. and for me it's more a mental process than a physical process and i have learned this throughout uh, you know through my journey i have learned all this uh, and we have so many misconceptions about dieting and uh, you know uh, going to gym and all uh, even today people will tell me you don't have bulging biceps we can't see the bulging biceps then uh, why do you say that you are going to gym every day so that these are misconceptions we have but as i was saying for artists like us or actors like us the benchmark is different because if i am playing a character when where i need to look in a very beefed up body i i have to maintain that kind of a physique for a film maybe for the next project i am playing a character who is starving so i have to go some uh, i have to go through some rigorous training or maybe some fat diet also but that is not the thing for again for the common people that is not the thing because we you need to follow the physical fitness regime or maybe your diet is which is sustainable so for us as you were asking uh, yes it takes time for an uh, for a certain character or for a certain project if a plus size model or a plus size actor or actress is needed i think now audience is also ready to accept that because previously even us as audience we had a fixed formula a fixed you know idea of the hero should look like this the heroine should right. look like this now the thing right. is even with the advent of ott now we can see mm-hmm. uh, actors who used to be called supporting actors so called supporting actors now they are playing the lead actors and people have no problem with that people are loving their projects people are loving them so the myths are getting you know broken every now and then so i can only hope that this will be a smoother process in future but it will take time okay wonderful report abhi so having having said that like you said uh, the film is a huge hit in, in you know uh, all around bengal but abhi you have to admit that uh, south films of late are not limited to a region it's everywhere when do we get to see for instance if pata party I really hoped it would have, you know. I'm based in Bangalore right now. I really hope it was, you know, spread across Bangalore too, because there are a lot of Bengali population here. When do you think that regional barrier would break with uh, Bengali films? Yeah, we we are trying uh, our best, and we are trying to find the answer because we are also um, a bit confused. We are also trying to explore that uh, why other regional industries are being now it. it's not regional it's like uh, we are not saying we are not using the word regional and which is a welcome change all uh, uh, thankfully uh, but we need to work out as you as you have said that you are based out of bangalore i uh, you also know i also know even uh, if do one if you talk to we understand in proper bangalore there are like maybe more bengalis than we have in proper kolkata but why can't we release our film officially there 
there are Correct. some logistical issues there are some technical issues also there are some contractual issues also but as an audience this is their responsibility that they need to ask these questions regularly regularly to us that why aren't you guys releasing your films and they need to go to watch the films on big screen regularly that's a kind of a habit which uh, you know uh, people from andhra pradesh or people from tamil nadu or people from kerala they have a habit to watch the film on back, big screen we don't have that habit yes things are better uh, 10 years back 15 years back things were much more bleak now things are better now we have ott also so the competition is much higher people may say suppose your colleague suppose your friends who are staying in bangalore now they will call you and they will say now to uh, sony leap will be premiering the film now we'll go uh, uh, now we'll watch the film we have no problem in that because we understand that there is a certain section of people where we cannot reach them a true big screen thanks to sony leap that they will be premiering the film so that we will reach out to them uh, but right. uh, on a big screen if you watch a film um, there is a different experience also uh so i i can hope and i will definitely try my best um with all my industry peers with all my industry colleagues we are also trying to you know crack that unknown uh, uh, equation where we can release our films regularly to people who are staying out of bengal sure ho oh, here's hoping so abhi yeah. and uh, also your uh, your peers from the industry if i may say so uh, on irban porum road so they are also doing a lot of hindi projects when will we see you in one i have done please go back to as in, as in, as season 2 <laughs> no 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 as in as in a film or so or more hindi oh, content okay okay uh, yeah. uh, that depends because uh, uh, let me tell you very honestly that i have been choosy about my projects uh, in bengali also um, when it comes about um, uh, when when you are talking about about uh, some uh, national projects uh, the first and foremost thing i need to understand that i have some responsibility here i have some project lined up here i need to take the time out number one number two the projects or the characters need to be very exciting just not for the sake of doing it i i i have to like i i don't want to do that like i have to do some projects um uh, you know nationally and um, i uh, i don't want to process my work um that way and number 3 is after actually after doing abro season 2 in sony leap i have become more choosy because the kind of love and affection i got from abro season 2 now i understand that responsibilities are higher people will expect expect me to do better work so challenges are on a higher scale but i would love to reach out to wider audience as you have rightly pointed out my uh, industry peers like forum jishu swastika and even pauli they are con- uh, continuously doing uh, projects in different language yes language is another barrier because uh, hindi is not my national uh, like m- mother tongue and that key ka problem will remain that i have yeah. accepted in my life that key ka <laughs> problem will remain i will try my best but that the problem will remain but that is not a obstacle but r- rather uh, i would see that's a challenge i need to explore more uh, let's see let's hope for the best uh, but, but um, i would love to see a more exciting projects and more exciting characters come in my way and so that i instantly say yes i'm sure your fans would say the same about you yes. also we are coming to the last few questions that i have for you which is i think this is a stereotypical question but i cannot not have an interview with abir and not ask this you are people's is a lot of people's is favorite bomkesh okay and uh, <laughs> there were reports which said that you're planning to take a break please tell us it's not true break from uh, the character um uh, i don't know that you can you, you never say never but uh, let me tell you very honestly i have done seven bomkesh films and one uh, spin off uh, so the kind of uh, admiration the kind of love the kind of acceptability i have from the audience it all started from bomkesh so i will remain uh, indebted to bomkesh bokshi throughout my life um whatever i am today it started off with bomkesh bokshi uh when we did bomkesh go through way back in 2018 uh i requested the makers the producers and my directors that can we have a break because i have been doing bomkesh continuously in regular intervals so i also need to give back bomkesh something very special so it is now becoming a kind of a routine work because bomkesh is doing so well in box office it's a safe bet it is becoming a safe bet 
but anything which is a safe uh, if people presume to be safe is very unsafe so i actually requested them way back in 2018 said please stop making bomkesh in regular intervals give me give me some more time give the project some more time give bomkesh bokshi and sharadindu babu some more time so that we do justice to the character uh, but in 2022 we again did another bomkesh the simple logic was post pandemic post covid we needed the audience back in the big screen and bomkesh right. is one such um, project where we knew that people will come back Uh, in the big screen but now i feel uh, with all humility uh, now i feel uh, that zone is becoming overcrowded uh, it's not very healthy as per my standards so i have requested my makers give me some more time let me let me just sit back and let me decide whether to do another bomkesh in near future or not if i do i need to give my best shot because bomkesh as i said uh, uh, it all started with bomkesh bokshi so as of now there is no plan of doing bomkesh from my side people are doing uh, like different people um, they are approaching they are exploring bomkesh bokshi stories in web series in films i wish them all the best but for the time being i am taking a back seat that's so so abir if i may say one take away that i would i as a bomkesh fan would like to say is never say never that you said yeah yeah never so say maybe, never so maybe so maybe yeah yeah never say never yeah, yeah. okay so, so abir are you are you doing kabuli wala there were there were uh, reports uh, yeah there were reports i uh, have been approached i uh, uh, i'm still in talks with the makers uh, so let's see let's keep our fingers crossed Okay, so the the last question, Abhi, that I have for you is let let's trace your journey back to cross connection. Okay, so from cross connection to Fata Fati, mm-hmm. you uh have come a long way. Okay, and um, do you ever sit back and think, oh, I could have done this differently in my career? Any regrets or anything so far? No, 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 no regrets. But yes, I do sit back. I do explore uh, my work. I do have a lot of self introspection because I. uh believe that for an artist for an actor it is very important to check your um journey uh, in regular intervals i do that regularly i try to do that and there are very few trusted friends i have with whom i can discuss things and they are very objective um, about um, these decisions or about this um, you know um introspection thing they are very objective thankfully they are there uh i have no regrets i am very proud of uh, whatever i have done yes uh, really i feel that i could have done this differently but yes th- th- that is what life is all about you learn things uh, the journey is more important for me rather than the destination so you learn you gather experience you actually um, uh, you know commit mistakes and learn more from the mistakes rather than from the success so uh, that's uh, the ongoing process so uh, let it be like that sure So I'll be with this. We come to an end uh, of this interview. It was wonderful speaking to you. Thank you. And thank thank you for your valuable insights. And I hope to speak to you next for the next gazillion of projects that you'll do. <laughs> yeah, I, I look forward to that. Also. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Abir. Thank you. All Take the best. Care. Bye. Thank you.